Good morning, everybody. We did something that we never do. We slept in. We did not get out of bed until after 10 a.m. Eve was being extra cuddly. We were just getting the rest. So, like Sarah pointed out to me, because I was like, okay, we gotta go do stuff, because you know, I'm always like, we gotta do stuff. She's like, we never do this, it's okay. So I'm making breakfast, I'm making some egg sandwiches, coffee, but I wanted to show you this. Our friend sent us this Kona coffee from Hawaii, and I'm obsessed. Like, if I had to choose one kind of coffee to drink for the rest of my life, it would be Kona coffee. I never thought that I'd like, gravitate towards one kind of coffee, but I definitely have, it's that Kona, I love it. About, oh, about time. Here's Sarah. Say hello. hello. Good morning. Good morning. I'm coming. She is, and I'm about to put on about time, because we always watch Bucket List on the weekends. We're gonna watch about time. I gotta figure out what Eve's barking about. And you want sriracha or you want me to put it on the side? Sriracha. Fruit? Here we go, got Sarah's egg fried egg sandwich, water in a Dixie Landing cup, some peaches, some grapes, some sriracha on it. Eve wants it. Eve wants it. And we'll call it a day. Here you go, Sarah. Thank you, dear. So it's just me and Eve while Peter's out on a run, even though it's 90 degrees. Put on a little Harry Potter because it's September 1st, the day that students go back to Hogwarts, and everybody's posting about it. So I thought that was some good background sounds. I'm just relaxing. I went on a run six miles. Well, I ran about four oh, and a half. I didn't realize that you did the full thing. Yeah, I did all. Well, I didn't run all six, but like oh. I went, I went a distance of six miles. I ran probably four and a half. Guys, I did that stupid thing where like I went out at noon. It was 80, it was 89 at the heat index of like 99, no cloud coverage, no wind. I knew it was stupid and I should have only done for three. You just learned a lesson. Yeah, but at least I went out, I did four and a half running. Overall, over the six miles, it was still like a sub 12 minute mile, but my first mile was eight minutes and 10 seconds. So like, I got it in me, I just need the right conditions. Yeah. But we're gonna go take the peel box. We're hanging out with Jill and James at Magic Kingdom tonight, but we're gonna do something fun. When you could only do this when you are an adult on your own, but we're gonna go buy a little thing of ice cream and we're gonna eat it all. In the car, because otherwise I'm not for you home. Sarah's in the Sarah needs chocolate. No, you don't need chocolate. Sarah needs ice cream. Yeah. This is what we give it. Eve when we leave so that she's not sad. Yeah, and it's distracting for we leave. She's good enough now. We can just leave and she'll just sit there, but we don't want her to be sad, so we give her butter, peanut butter. Change of plans, we're going we to Target before the P.O. Box. Then we're going to Studios. Joe called us and was like, hey, can we go to Studios? I think it's because they maybe haven't seen, her and James haven't seen Toy Story Land, but we're like, we can go with anything. We can go, we can change the plan 17 times, we're gonna be okay. But I needed some shaving cream, because I am gonna go back to shaving like I used to, like an old man, with a double, or a double safety edge razor and like a badger brush. This isn't my favorite, but there's a place in Chicago I go to uh, by the Hilton Grand Hotel, downtown Chicago. It's like an old style perfume, creamery, facial awesomeness. They've got great um, like old fashioned mixing with the badger brush for the shaving cream. So this will do until I go back to Chicago next. And I'm gonna start doing that. And like I said before, I'm gonna get my first straight edge whenever we have our first child. And that's when I said I was gonna do that. And now if you're going to get Rocky Road ice cream, haven't had Market Pantry yet, but the Rocky Road looks good. I also was looking down here at some of these Edies. I'm a, I'm a sucker for Edies, but Bluebell is, is amazing too. Joy Beth has have introduced Bluebell to us, and it's the best. And they come out with the little ones. Look at this chocolate peanut butter, sea salt caramel. Ooh. Put a comment down below with your favorite uh, favorite ice cream. Alrighty, we each got our, how much is this? A pint of ice cream. Instead of getting a pint of beer tonight on my Saturday night, I'm getting myself a pint of dairy. Is moose tracks not a thing in the South? Because that's what I was like needing and not any brand had moose tracks. For anybody, yeah, interested in the new tram situation for the construction going on at studios. 
this is where you get on, which is what we walk past when we walk from the parking lot. So really there's even further motivation to not take the tram because this is super close to the parking lot. Yeah. So I wonder, oh, we had seen that when we were walking to the beach club, I wonder if these bus stops aren't even in use. Yeah, because all those are going to be like, I wonder if this is a new permanent home. Wow, when did all this happen? It's only been like a week and a half since we last came here. I know. Did you know that they have brought in multiple of the spaceships into Galaxy's Edge? Ooh. And I hear a rumor that if you carefully look when you're on Slinky Dog, you can actually see some of them. So it's a little, it's hot, but it's not too hot today. We're just strolling all in for Jill and James. So we said we're gonna go to one man's room and soak up all the nostalgic Disney history because you know we love to. And it's always like hit or miss, like usually, like soon I'm sure, the next movie preview is gonna go in that spot. So. Oh yes, yeah, so we, we should watch the movie. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Oh, I, I was just looking at all the displays. I wanna watch the movie because we didn't get to watch it with uh, the fans. Yeah, or the Air, or the Air Hearts. Hearts. Yeah. I, oh, I described, the Incredibles preview in the yes. family. I described today's park attendance right now in Hollywood Studios as droopy. Don't know if you agree with that or not. But so far, coming down Sunset and Hollywood Boulevards, droopy. Okay, so we're just like enjoying all the Marceline history over there. And I could have sworn I heard the woman say, you, you need to join us right now if you want to see the next showing. So we're racing to the back, trying not to bump anybody over. But it's kind of difficult. It started. We made it. We made it. Well, I tell you, if you've never been to studios before, you absolutely have to do one man stream. It's just like a 10 minute video, it's super special. Just like really brings the spirit of Walt into the parks. And since it's 6 30, I don't. Are Jill and James here yet? Not yet. Jill and James are still on their way, but we're gonna catch the Star Wars stage show since all the characters are walking out now. We've also heard that it's the last day for the Pixar, or no, the Disney, Disney Junior. Live on stage. Anybody else out there? Here we go. I kind of want one of these close-up side sh side spots up here in the shade, maybe. Secret mission for flags. What are you talking about? We're gonna sneak around the back and see him leave. So there's the stage. Go stage left. And you'll see them all leave. Alrighty, so we're with Jill and James now. She's never been in Toy Story Land. James is documenting, per usual. <laughs> we're gonna do daytime and nighttime. Yes. And then finish off with Star Wars. My yeah, I somehow got alien swirling saucers fast passes, so we're doing that my first. Wait, stare my slinky, we can see. Yeah. Surprise! It was my second time on it, and I got to enjoy it more because I went with two little kids last time. So I was like, concerned about yeah. them. I think it's a lot. It's a really yeah. fun ride. It's really good. For 40 minutes, I probably wouldn't wait that much. I'd wait 30 or less. But we're actually gonna wait the hour and a half or whatever it is for Slinky Dogs because these two have never been on it. So we're gonna get up on drinks and snacks and get in line. All right. It's been like an hour and 40 minutes. It's actually only been, it's only been an hour and a half. We got in at like 7.30. Like 
The fireworks just started. It's 9.01. It's Sid next door. Hopefully we're going to have a ride and we'll be able to watch fireworks on Slinky Dog. They've never been. We're going on. Yay! How excited. Joe got popcorn. Yeah, Joe was very surprised to see Mickey Mouse in the selfies. So, this will be the second and, and the end of our ride today. But it's a good one. Nighttime, Slinky Dog is good. And they don't know what happens at the end. So, I'm not telling them. I'm telling them to be surprised. never seen fireworks from here or on the ride. Oh my gosh. Jill James. There's a thumbs up. Two thumbs uh -huh. up. Um, thumb worth the hour and a half wait? Yeah. It was worth it. See, they are like us. They, they'll do it. You gotta ride it. If you've seen the Star Wars fireworks, they're not like super consistent the whole time. So it was like bittersweet because like we saw them. Ooh. We got to see them during parts. But like it was nice because then you get to enjoy the roller coaster but also then see the fireworks on the roller coaster. It's like the best of both worlds, I guess you could say. I don't know. I, just, I guess you could say I really liked it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to see if I can catch something. It's kind of frightening to be back here with these fireworks over here. Ah! This is not okay. It is so hot. I feel like we should not be allowed back here. Are you? Are you okay? <laughs> is everybody okay? <laughs> ah, there's more fireworks back there. I know. I was saying I don't. I feel like we should not be allowed right here. Oh, safety does not make it with me. Ah. ah. Alright James, for the little bit of that that you saw, what do you think? That was good. That was scary was back there. And you can feel the heat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, as the young kids say, I am, well, which one? Shook or triggered? Either way. <laughs> This is the worst like crowd manipulation I've ever seen Disney do. Magic Kingdom's open for another two hours. <laughs> we're getting up early and we're gonna edit tonight probably. I just want to point out that that was the most absurd exit of Hollywood Studios and also the most absurd parking lot. Right when we got to our car, there were like 15 cars with their alarms going off, people trying to find them. Second trip to Target today. And I was gonna say, I'm gonna be so proud of us if we leave Target for the second time in spending almost no money. Are you saying that's not a lot? No, I thought we were gonna get like one, like just salsa and like this, but this is so good we need it. Yeah, it'll push it off grocery shopping. Thing that we're buying extra is I'm gonna get a cream. I'm debating if I'm gonna get pumpkin spice or peppermint mocha. This is the ultimate question that I'm having conflict with. My heart of hearts tells me I have to get peppermint mocha. Okay, just do it. Just do it. There, we're so early in the season, I can still get another pumpkin spice. Hey, but you also have your ears not on in this Target. <laughs> I'm bad in the puppy. I just finished editing this vlog you're watching now because we're going to Kennedy Space Center. So while you're watching this, we're on the, Probably on the East road. Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lunch pack tomorrow. Coffee's ready to get made. Just gotta turn on. So we just gotta mm -hmm. go to bed. Wake Dinner up. Dinner ready for the crock pot. Just gotta get get to bed and get up early and go enjoy a nice and geeky day at the Kennedy <laughs> Space Center. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh yeah, we forgot to tell you that I got this in the PO box today from Courtney. Thank you so much. It's a dress with Minnie Mouse's on it. Can't wait to wear it to the parks. Thank you. 
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.